So I want to talk to you a little bit about freedom. I believe that in our North American culture, we prize freedom. We almost put it up on a pedestal and say, look at this. This is so great. A company that gives me a lot of freedom is one that respects me and gives me authority and autonomy and the ability to decide what to do. It gives me options. It gives me variety. We bundle all of these positive associations in with the concept of freedom. Maybe you see this. Maybe you don't. However, what I see as well is that the freedom that is on the upside that we associate all of these positive attributes to is only one side of the coin. There is also the other side. And on the other side, or you might say with too much freedom in certain contexts within an organization, for example, you're actually talking about a lack of accountability, a lack of support, a lack of connection, a lack of standardization. And this last one especially can manifest in a place where you need to redo everything from scratch every time. So you've got your team members basically reinventing the wheel. They are all doing roughly the same process, let's say, but they have so much freedom, which is a great thing, that they are starting from scratch every time. They are, they are really not exchanging information, they're not supporting each other, they're not sort of buying into one collective consensus of the best way to do things. So can you see how that positive attribution of freedom can have a downside in that if we don't give enough support and don't ask for people to get on the same page, to be efficient with the resources they're using, to think a little bit strategically, not just about the thing that you do because you're free to do it, because you have um, that sort of sense of, of wanting to express yourself, but because you're really bought into the broader definition of success. And this is where I talk sometimes about a shared vision and shared goals and how we can really take these two positive poles of freedom and self-determination and people feeling empowered and proud and in charge of what they do. These are all really good things. These are the positive aspects of freedom. And we can look at the other positive aspect, which is everybody gets what I do here. I belong to something. I am part of a team. People around me have my back which again, you don't necessarily get when you, when you look at this um, freedom first kind of culture. You don't always have that collaboration and you don't always have the knowledge sharing. And so support, accountability, knowledge sharing, learning organization is one positive pull. And on the other hand, you've got freedom and self-determination. And some people would say, well, they're opposites. You gotta choose one or the other. I would challenge you to think about how you can have the best of both worlds. There's a very cool tool called Polarity Management, which talks about basically how you can take two things that seem to be opposed to one another, that seem to be mutually exclusive, and you can actually figure out how to have the best of both worlds. So it's a beautiful topic, and I, I, I love this idea of freedom. I met an engineering leader recently who told me about how proud he is of his company that has this very positive um, value and this very positive uh, orientation around freedom for its employees. And we're having a really neat conversation now about how he can keep that. It's a very valued attribute of the company and he can also integrate some other things that will minimize the downsides that I spoke about while really maximizing the upsides. So I would love to hear if you've ever heard of polarity management, if you've ever used it, and what you think about this sort of relationship between accountability, teamwork, and support versus freedom and how you can have the best of both worlds.